Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Pisces. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Pisces, I was going to say actually that I'm feeling um, really rushed and full of energy, like speedy. I feel really speedy and like I'm having a hard time focusing because it's almost like I have a deadline or there's a timer or like we need to get this done. But then I realized that I think that's coming from your reading. I don't think that's me. I don't think that's you actually. It's coming from all these energies around you that seem to really have the pressure on you right now to do something that you're, you're expected to get something done. Um, so I want to tune in actually to your energy, which is feeling really different than that. Actually, it's feeling very still somehow you are, um, maintaining some, uh, tranquility in this increasingly pressurized environment. Okay. So, um, I'm doing your reading today, Pisces with the, with my three decks blended into one. So you will see a mix of all three in your spread today in the hand. The universe is your partner who's on the split in the ace of water, ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. So that's interesting. It's like, it's, it's like the ace of cups is in your hand. The ace of cups is in your hand. It almost feels like a baton pass. Like, it's, okay. So this is interesting. It's almost like the baton is, is been, the ball is in your court. The baton has been passed to you and yet you're not beginning the race in the sense you're not beginning your leg of the race. The ball is in your court and you uh, have received it and you're, you're holding on to it. <laughs> this is what it looks like, right? And everybody's saying, okay, Pisces, but the game is still on. You gotta, you gotta do your part. It's like, it's, it's your turn, go. And you're saying, no, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, overall energy from the Zen Tarot for Pisces. So like Pisces is throwing everybody off. Maybe there was, maybe this was planned. Maybe this was rehearsed, right? It's like, this is how things are supposed to go. This is your cue. Spotlights on Pisces, say your lines. And you're saying, no, change of plans, change of plans. Okay. This is interesting. The card that threw itself on the floor is awareness. Awareness. Okay, so this is really interesting to me because it's looking to me like I'm not looking at this whatever the what's that figure? Okay, there, there's so much. There's so much. I love this deck. Okay, what I was gonna say is if this is a situation that has been planned for for a long time, like I said, it's been rehearsed, or you know, you're in the middle of some sort of uh, unfolding event and there's this agreement or understanding that at this point you will take over at this point, the project or the whatever is handed over to you and Pisces take it from here, right? If that's been kind of the lead up to this moment, it's almost like, well, interestingly, I wanna put these two cards together. The further gate is the first one on the table here and put it with this awareness card. There's a lot of similarities in those in those energies. Can you see it? Can you see what I'm seeing here? So it's almost as if the farther gate you see here in the foreground, there's, the, there's a gate that's open in the background. There's a gate that's yet to be opened. So it's almost like, okay, when we get in between these two gates, then Pisces, it's your turn. You're going to open the next gate so that we can all go through. This is amazing how this has been coming through. This is the new developing theme in the reading. It's just this something to do with opening a gate for everybody to pass through. Okay. So it's like, so there you are, it's your turn to kind of do your part in this, in this situation. And you're at that exact moment. It's like some new awareness is coming in for you about wait up, hold up, hold up. Like, it's almost like the whole game has changed now because you're receiving some new insight at the la at the very last moment. Nobody else has that piece of information yet. Um, so they don't know what is going on. And it feels like with this patience card, see, it's like, here it is. It's like you're running a marathon or a relay race and you get right to the, the it's like, that's your, that's your, that's your leg of the race is between these two gates, right? You've been past the baton and then suddenly it's almost like you've gone into this inner world 
so incredibly fascinating what is going it's like there's this great big story suddenly emerging through the readings for the collective i think it started in capricorn it's like cap it's like capricorn was on stage practically uh kind of doing an audition or something and there was a point where they got too self-conscious and they tripped up and it's almost like that they're, they're all overlapping all of these messages it's like we're at this big important where it's like we're in the crunch time this is it it's like make or break pisces it's up to you pisces it's your turn this is your this is your part do your part um and it's like there's kind of like a hiccup coming in for each of the signs at this big moment a lot of pressure being applied for Aquarius it was like so uncomfortable they basically just walked out and they're saying I'm not involved in this is that what's happening for here no this is not what's happening for you um it feels to me actually like you're very much connected to the community that is it's like you have a community around you with this gathering around the power of community this is kind of your audience or the rest of the team saying okay pisces this was the this was what we rehearsed you're supposed to do that thing at the gate or open the open the door or create the opportunity do your say your lines and it's like you've just completely gone inward with the patience card kind of digesting whatever this is that you're receiving right in this moment interestingly there's the magician here too i'm wondering what he is doing there because i feel like he's um somehow connected to the community or he's part of the community but he's also at the same time separate from slightly different from i want to say that maybe that has maybe that has something to do with what you're receiving here this information at the last moment is that there's somebody in in the mix that um it's almost like they're they're a manipulate a manipulative energy like i kind of want to call him a dark magician he's been coming up in the readings a lot recently he's, but he wants to convince people of something that he's invested in and so it's almost like he's somehow someone in your collective or in your group has brought an intention into the mix that um that maybe has is you're getting kind of a glimpse of especially with this eagle's eye the eyes of the eagle how i was reading this before this card came out the overall energy is that there's been all these like eyes on every sign recently has had like the watcher energy there's eyes on you you're let like, you're auditioning or you're expected to or in your situation pisces you seem to be expected to do something that you may have agreed to do or it was understood that you would do previous to this like i said maybe even done dry dry runs rehearsals all this and such and i was saying all it feeling like gathering energy gathering attention all eyes on you but now this eagle is starting to look like you're maybe re-examining all of the players on the stage with you because it's like there's a dark magician in the mix right and the dark mag magician is just somebody who is um wanting a free ride i want to say that could be what this is talking about the uh aquarius extended was talking about what well, was a little bit in the in the main part of the aquarius if you watched that earlier um it was talking about that there's like a group of people or a specific person that really wants aquarius to bring like their magic to the table so that they can open this door or opportunity for the rest of the group um but in the Aquarius reading it was talking about that it's kind of a lower shadier shadowy energy that doesn't have access to the higher realms and is therefore wanting to use the Aquarius as kind of a like a tag along or a bridge or you know to to uh, to transport them to give them access to a dimension or an energy that they wouldn't have access to without them right so it's like that it's like they want to piggyback on your energy moving into this next leg whatever this is right it's like you've got something that you've been preparing for or you've had your eye on for a long time this is it it's about to happen or you're about to go or you're about to make a move and suddenly you go wait a minute do i want all of these to be to come with me or to be involved with me let me re-examine this situation right 
But then it's also talking about the fact that there is kind of this growing pressure. It's almost like this uh, a weighted moment, right? Where everybody's looking at you and the expectation is growing. There's been a lot of kind of tension. There's been a lot of tension in the readings where it's like, it's like a, an incredibly significant moment in time where it's almost like so much kind of, is it rest in the balance? Is that the right way to say that? So much is depending upon like what you do in this moment. So everybody is leaning in and waiting. Like, what are you going to do, Pisces? The fact that you're not doing anything is a challenge for them because it's like the, that's this is not the way it was supposed to be. This is not what was supposed to happen. Six of Earth is talking about actually you and your past accomplishments or the fact that maybe it's talking about the rehearsal aspect of this or that this was planned or we all understood because it's bringing in this idea of all of your accomplishments. I always see these kind of pentacles here as um, almost like awards, rewards, accomplishments, um, kind of on display. It's well understood that maybe the reason why you're in the position that you're in is because of all of the past accomplishments or the fact that you have done similar type of quests or you've done this kind of thing in the past it's very well rehearsed and understood. And so everybody, it's like everybody's saying, but Pisces, remember, remember the agreement we had or the fact that like that we've done this so many times before, what has changed here? And then with the chariot and the movement card, right? All of this like go, 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 go. In fact, I've got to back out of it again because it's like I'm getting caught up in it. All of this pressure to move, go, go, Pisces, why aren't you going? I want to say, there's several things at play here. First of all, the growing kind of urgency and tension in the rest of the group, not you. I feel like you're calmer than ever, right? No, you're feeling fine. I mean, you, you're uh, likely not enjoying any of this from the others, but it's almost like you're, you're really um, somehow really successfully kind of blocking them out. You see how there's kind of this pillar or wall here between you and them? Maybe because you've gone so inward, right? It's like whatever this is, that's this awareness that's opening up for you is really pulling you into this inner realm that is in a sense kind of protecting you from all of this increasing pressure that is building up and building up. And it's like the more you're not reacting or maybe you've gone like non-communicative, the more you're not saying anything or doing anything, the more they're freaking out. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that their ride, in a sense, depends on you. So they're getting maybe even frustrated or angry at some point about, if you don't go, we can't go. If you don't do this, none of us do this, right? Trying to really put a pressure on you to get it done. And with the three of earth here, this seems to be an acknowledgement from you. First of all, again, it's like your energy is so different than theirs. It's so settled and oddly at peace. I almost wonder if whatever this awareness is, it's almost like it's some kind of like supernatural energy that is coming in. And it's almost like you're, you're in the, like a communion moment. You're having communion with spirit. Um, and it's interesting because there's the messenger of earth and the sacred contract, the covenant right below that. It's almost like suddenly there's a conversation going on internally with you about what your sacred contract was, what, what your, uh, messenger, of earth, messenger of earth energy is basically like what your purpose of walking this path at this time, almost like it, it's not, is it renegotiating the contract? It could be some sort of a renegotiation of the contract right at the last moment, but whatever it is, it's basically like some kind of an uh, energy that overrides all of this, right? Whether it's like your inner truer self, um, you between you and God, you and source are suddenly having a, not a, it's not um, a second guessing, but there's something else at play here that wasn't 
up until now, or it wasn't at least in your awareness. So it's something like now that this is on the table, we have to renegotiate this entire situation for you Pisces individually. So it's almost like you're dealing with that. It's almost like you've sequestered yourself off from the rest of them. You feel, it's almost like you're in the presence of a higher power. So, um, all of that that's going on outside the room or outside of that sacred space, which is interesting because that's what this card talks about. Everything that's outside of that sacred space that you're in, it's almost like it's almost like the dimension is opened up and you're within this sacred space kind of communing with God and receiving more information kind of at the last minute about your purpose in this situation. You thought you had it all understood because it had been kind of rehearsed or talked about or planned for a long time. So because that's the reason why you're in this really kind of gentle energy, right? So you, what you seem to be saying here with this growing into, it's almost like they're, they're like, um, if you see NASCAR when they're all sitting in their cars at the, at the starting line and they're all kind of revving their engines, that's what this is. And it's like they're all standing, they're all lined up right behind you. And it's like you're the one who's got to wave the flag and, and release them all, let them all go, right? So it's, it's like it's all depending on you and this growing kind of revving energy behind you like, okay, Pisces, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. And you're saying to them, I know, I see you, I acknowledge you. I see you and I acknowledge you, but there's something like, but it's... As much as we had planned and anticipated and thought we understood, it's not ready is what's coming through. Maybe it has something to do with that magician, kind of sorting out that energy, maybe separating that out from the collective perhaps, but it's looking like this. It's like everybody's, everybody's eager to get moving and you're standing in the way blocking their path forward and communicating as best you can to them the fact that as much as we thought it was time or this was what's next, something isn't ready because the sky bridge coming next, that's kind of like where you're, you're supposed to cross that bridge in a sense, right? It's like we're supposed to be going across the sky bridge. Your leg of the race was to kind of open this farther gate and w bring us all across the sky bridge, whatever that means. Like this is your your phase, um, your chapter, your whatever, right? Your leg of the journey, your leg of the race. And it's like right at the last moment, you're kind of being given information or you maybe you're just, you can see it because you're you're the closest to it is that it's not quite time yet. It's not ready yet. You can see that it's like there's all these, spaces in between it's like it's still kind of coming into manifestation or something it's almost like the road in front of you is not completely materialized yet it's coming into being but it's not quite settled yet right and it's like it appears like you could probably make a go for it and maybe you could kind of hop some stones and make it across but it's not quite there yet things aren't in perfect alignment and if you go now rock bottom comes next, right? It's like, it's like the whole bridge collapses and we're all gonna, we're all gonna be in this rock bottom energy and we don't want that. Or it's almost something like, no, I don't, do I wanna, I don't, do I wanna go this way or don't? It's almost like it's a trap, but I don't like, that makes me really uncomfortable to say that because I don't think that's the case. Maybe there is a trap in some regard Maybe there is some sort of a trap, but if you just continue with this inner focus and receive the full download or the full, the full message that seems to be coming in from some divine source in a sense, it's only, it could just be like your own intuition, right? I've had this in my past. It used to happen a lot when I was really young where I would think that I really, really, really wanted something, right? And it would begin to happen like this. It's like the gate is opening, the path is presenting itself. And I would think that I want it right up until it was, it's like it was happening. And then all of a sudden just dread would come over me. Like I would describe it as existential crisis. It would just, 
everything would have to stop every it's like no it's and that's what i'm seeing here now it's like suddenly like stop 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 something isn't right something is wrong if we if we do it now it's it's not it's not going to end up the way we think it is. Sorry, I'm just remembering remembering something. I don't think I'm going to share it here. Okay, so so it I I am reluctant to say things like it's there's a trap or this is a trap because it is it isn't, although it might have something like that in the mix in the sense of maybe this push to do it too soon too soon or to make you believe this is the moment when it's not quite the moment is some sort of a manipulative energy that is trying to get you to trip up which kind of ties back into the capricorn reading about tripping up and then kind of having to go back and, and do it again this time with a, a, an element that was missing the first time right it's like there's still one step in that bridge that hasn't been put in place yet and you got to if you go now you're going to trip up and you're going to end up in that rock bottom energy along with the entire group right so the sacred okay the eight of earth is talking about sacred purpose sacred space that you seem to be in 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 you seem to be in in you seem to be in at the moment the sacred space um almost kind of full this is the interesting thing it's almost like Everybody around you suddenly thinks that you are denying your purpose, right? With the six of earth here, they're saying like, but this is who you are. This is, this is what you do and you've done it so well in the past or you've done every, every step along the way. Why wouldn't you just do the next step? And it's like, you're acknowledging here. You want to acknowledge them. Yes, I see you. I value you. It's still, we're still doing this. I'm still on board. It's still happening. This is my purpose. This is who I am. But with the fortune's wheel at the very end of the reading here, it's saying it's, you're saying it's not time. It's like you're saying yes to everything else. You're saying, yes, this is my purpose. Yes, the yes to everything. Yes, I acknowledge you and your concerns here. I know that you're eager. I know that, um, that it all is depending on me. I understand all of that. I acknowledge it. I accept it. I accept the responsibility. But it's like we have to stay here in this in this moment. It's almost something like, like I said, it's not time. I don't know where this is coming from. I think it's the fact that I'm saying, because it's like you're ready to cross this bridge or or make this move. And then all of a sudden you're you're holding yourself and the whole crew back, like at that gate. Do not proceed. And it's almost like because whew, something's going to go flying by. It's like a train is going to go racing by, right? Nobody even knows that, that that's a possibility. But it's like this divine intervention at this very last moment as you're about to take that step. Just like I was saying when I was a kid and I would be like, I'm going, I'm so excited. We're going to do this. And then all of a sudden it would be like, no, everything in me was, it would be like, do not take one more step. And if I tried to do it, it would just like... It was impossible. I couldn't do it, right? That's what that's looking like for you. It's like you're frozen in place in a sense. This figure here is kind of cemented into the into the ground. But it's also the three of earth, which is acknowledging like the group and the collective. And you're saying, no, we're still in this. We're still in this together. But I just have to stand here for a, a, an ind indetermined amount of time. I don't exactly know why. It's almost like maybe, maybe you're being told that maybe that's being communicated to you on some level but what you do know for sure is that i must stand here for a moment and kind of it's almost like god speaking in your ear and it's like there's no way that you're gonna continue what you're doing when god is speaking to you it's like no this is the most important thing i have to stand here and listen to what god is saying to me and you might not understand that because you're not hearing what i'm hearing but I ha this is this takes priority over everything else. It doesn't matter how much we planned or how much our hearts were set on it. I have to listen in this moment. I know this moment was dedicated to this, but now it's dedicated to this because this takes precedence over everything always. And so you're sitting here and you're listening to the voice of God. And it's almost like while you're receiving that message or renegotiating the contract or receiving this new awareness, maybe getting some kind of understanding about this magician energy, maybe not. 
feels like a minor player actually, but it could be part of the mix. It's like whew, something happens, right? Asteroid blows by or something. And then you go, see, see, and then maybe, maybe then it's time, right? But in this moment, you have to, you have to just do what you know you need to do, right? Okay, so I'm gonna to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. And if not, I will see you next time, Pisces. Thanks, bye.